Nahiti desperately trying to get the cue ball in behind the yellow there. Fortunately for him, he took the red across the table to cover the one over that left corner pocket. So no danger here for Mahiti. Higgins trying to do the same thing with regard to getting the cue ball in behind the yellow, but just failing. tapping the table in acknowledgement of a good shot there. We haven't seen that many drawn out safety battles in this year's event. This is probably the first. It can be just as intriguing and fascinating as a century break. Well, Mahiti forces a mistake from Higgins. Very rarely you see that. Save a helpless planet. X-Men Legends. Loads of great gift ideas at Curry's. These George Foreman health grills, all half price, from only $19.99. Always offering prizes. Would you like to have a one-on-one -on -one personal chat with one of our gorgeous sexy girls? They're waiting for your call to talk about anything you like. It's easy. Just call 09064 006 005 to tell them anything you want. Choose from our stunning selection of gorgeous girls. Just call 09064 006 005. That's 09064 006 005. They'll keep you up all night. This is the first time you win in the dance. Yes! <laughs> oh, nice one! Ears of you! Recover shower gel with added links effect. Bridges and rubber bands, metal poles and dancers. It's surprising what goes together. So when we say an electric shaver and foam, trust us, it works. Using Sherna Sensitive with foam is the fast, easy way to shave sensitive skin. If it's not better than your current shave, we'll give you your money back. Rushing around, shopping a nightmare. Can't even enjoy my chockies. Oh, indigestion. But I've settled it. Settlers, bring express relief. Dating has never been so easy with new text date. Profiles, pictures, messages and matches sent directly to your mobile phone. Just send mates to 83800 to register for free. It's that easy. Come on, meeting you guys and girls has never been this simple. Make someone's day by featuring on their mobile phone today. You never know where it may lead. Send mates to 83800. That's mates to 83800. Introducing the new fresh baked baguettes at Burger King. Fresh from the oven in four delicious varieties. 
succulent flame grilled Cajun chicken with fresh rocket and blue cheese mayo, the Monterey melt with tangy cheese and red onion, spicy flame grilled peri peri chicken, and chicken BLT. Delicious chicken breast fillet strips with crispy bacon, all packed with fresh ingredients on baguettes freshly baked throughout the day. We're Burger King, you're the boss. VO5 Extreme Style Rework, winner in the FHM Grooming Awards 2004, and now the UK's number one styling product. It's completely cheesed off, Phil. And we've seen that look quite often over the last couple of seasons or so. Higgins sets himself very high standards. Thankfully for him, his safety mistake has only cost seven points. Yes, Higgins continues to play very well in practice from all accounts, but it's very different when you're actually on the match table and when it really counts. When you're on the match table, that is when you get found out. It's when things don't always go your own way. But the important bit is how you handle it when you sat in your chair for long periods of time, when the ball run is going against you, when you, so you miss the silly shots. You see it break so many players. Yes, and I think winning and losing becomes habitual. Hey. Higgins has seen it from both sides of the coin. In the mid to late 90s, there was a post-mortem if he didn't reach the semi-finals or final of the tournament. So reliable, so consistent. Then, as we've said over the last two and a half, three seasons, suddenly he's become wildly inconsistent tremendous at times ineffective at others I suppose you could say to sum that all up in the 90s when he was at his best he used to go into a match arena fully expecting to play well now he goes out there hoping to play well. And that kind of shot, for instance, he would knock in with crushing regularity. Well, that is not the best shot he's ever played. Once again, Mahiti just not being punished. 
How many mistakes has Mahiti made in this frame? A good half a dozen. In most matches you think to yourself, well, if I make one or two I deserve to lose. Choice is here. He can roll the black in. The pink is over the pocket, providing an easier positional shot. Maybe even off the green and behind the black for a snooker. Yes, a little bit too much angle on the pink to hold on the yellow. You have to play the shot almost dead weight. That was clumsy. you can speak from past experience here Mark when you've got players of the caliber and ability of John Higgins down you've got to keep them there absolutely right because it doesn't happen that often you're at a disadvantage as soon as you walk into the arena because they, they've got the reputation they've got the results and you are the underdog they're expecting to win they're expecting to beat you and you're hoping to beat them and if all of a sudden, after two frames, you've got that advantage, you really have to keep hold of it. Because as soon as you get near to that winning line, then they really start to feel the pressure. Because let's face it, on the whole, they do far more winning than they do losing. We know you've got a good record against Stephen Hendry. You've beaten Monty O'Sullivan as well. On more than one occasion, did you cross paths with John Higgins on a regular basis? I was really disappointed that in my career I never played John once, and it was it was one player I really wanted to play. I think primarily because of the safety side of it, I thought he was a great tactician. When I played Davis, we had some tremendous safety battles. I can remember Higgins back in, I think it was '95, in the final of uh, what was the international back then. And he beat Davis at his own game, and Higgins was, was a youngster. He was so young, but he had so much knowledge. I found that fascinating, but no, I never got to play him. I have to dust the old cue down, Phil. I'm getting oh. carried away now, aren't I? Well, how about that? Anywhere but there. It's been that kind of frame for Higgins. Everything's a struggle. And he's thinking, yeah, that's just about par for the course. When I make a mistake, the ball goes over the pocket. Three. Well, I think the brown goes past the pink. If it does, this is a frame-winning chance. Maybe a little too straight for comfort. The angle is there, but not quite as much as he would have wanted. Punched it down well, but this is a real examination. 
one part stands between Mahiti and a very surprising 2-0 lead. Yeah. That, that sums it up for me really Phil I think Hendry or Higgins would have dropped that in dead weight but he didn't like it did he the nerves were getting to him a touch because the more pace you put into that shot the more difficult it becomes that's right the slower you play the shot in effect the bigger the pocket becomes the downside of that is that if you do miss the black's going to be over the pocket for your opponent Well, that was terrible from Higgins. He's very fortunate to finish there, I can tell you. Another chance goes a begging, although that one was more difficult. If Higgins can salvage this and get a share of the first two frames, he will be mighty thankful. There's the cue ball. Just about okay. Not one for the highlight reel, that, but Higgins back on level terms. The venue is the BEC Tero Stadium, the city's Bangkok. The tournament, world champions versus Asian stars. The round is the semi-final. The two combatants, Atasit Mahiti and John Higgins. It's the best of nine frames, two already played, one apiece. Very interesting, that previous frame, Phil, you mentioned that when the underdog has got a top player down, they've got to keep them down, haven't they? And he missed that black for a 2-0 lead. I wonder how important that miss could be later on in this match. Higgins, 2-0 down, he'd just be starting to feel the pressure. They're one each now, he feels it's, uh, it's back to normal. That was a very heavy contact, took all the pace out of the cue ball, just about made it towards that cushion. Well, in fairness, we're seeing quite a few kicks this evening. Not always visible. Quite often, though, audible. Instead of the click of the two balls together it's more of a rumble I think this is where Higgins has to use his knowledge, almost wear Mahiti down a touch. Try and get Mahiti frustrated. I mean, Higgins is such a patient safety player. And Mahiti, looking at him, he, he does like to go for the odd adventurous shot. There's always that tendency when you, you've got a big home crowd that you're trying to impress them a, a bit too much.
Bromley certainly receiving plenty of encouragement. But I think we should draw a veil over that. Try to play with lots of side. And just butchered the shot. Well, it was almost like a half-baked shot, wasn't it? He wasn't sure exactly what he was doing. You know, visualising the shot, seeing what? exactly where that cue ball is going to finish before getting down to strike the object ball is so important. And he just wasn't sure. That's the kind of mistake where Higgins has got to start capitalising. And I just sense after that close call in the previous frame that maybe he will. Nine. quite the angle he was looking for. Just having to cut this red back and maybe forced to go back up for a bolt colour here. Played that well. Using the red to kill the pace in the white to hold for the black. See how restricted he was there, being so straight on that red. He could literally take the cue ball forward or back. Still hugging the side well, but at least he's got the pink. He doesn't really have to do anything with the white here. So many times this game is about application. It's actually about making some serious effort. 31. And you think you're trying, but every now and then you have to kick yourself when you realise you're, you're not. Another shot he has to be careful with here. You can see the red at the bottom of the pack is available to the right corner pocket. Could easily overrun the, the white here unless he makes the cannon just off the side of the pack. Play that well. Thirty-nine. Forty. Forty-seven. Once again, a big shot going into the reds. 47 ahead. This Philips Freeview digital TV receiver can access up to 30 free channels and it's an amazing $49.99, half price. Well, the best things come in small packages.
and this all-in-one Samsung DVD player and video recorder is down to just $99.99. Half price. Happy Christmas! The best things come in small packages. From the producer of Crouching Tiger comes a film critics are calling spectacular. Astonishing. House of Flying Daggers. You're going to love this. Dating has never been so easy with new text date. Profiles, pictures, messages and matches sent directly to your mobile phone. Just send mates to 83800 to register for free. It's that easy. Come on, meeting you guys and girls has never been this simple. Make someone's day by featuring on their mobile phone today. You never know where it may lead. Send mates to 83800. That's mates to 83800. First touch, FIFA Football 2005. EA Sports, it's in a game. Dooley's Vodka Toffee, not for the sweet and innocent. on this Bratz Wintertime Wonderland Ski Lodge, now under £59. And save £5 on this Tony Lumi Sketcher, now under £30. Would you like to have a one-on-one -on -one personal chat with one of our gorgeous, sexy girls? They're waiting for your call to talk about anything you like. It's easy. Just call 09064 006 005 to tell them anything you want. Choose from our stunning selection of gorgeous girls. Just call 09064 006 005. That's 09064 006 005. They'll keep you up all night. You'll be amazed at what you can now pick up at Pizza Hut. There's a delicious new range of pastas and salads. And they're only $4.99 for a limited period. I'm pulling you out of your province. Sensitive operations unit. Two-man team. He says he knew you were coming here. He was told. We're here to take our man and go home. I'm not who you think I am. I can either help you. Or I could send you back to your ancestors. Thunderheart, 9 o'clock next Wednesday on 5. All of the game's leading exponents share one thing in common. When they get into a break building groove, they're hard to stop. 62. This is what he needs to do, keep Mahiti in his chair. And if Mahiti can start to think negative thoughts, then Higgins has, has got him. The trouble is that Higgins has been making mistakes, letting Mahiti off. He just keeps going back to the table, doesn't really have any time to think. But now this will make him wonder. Sixty-three. 
bente. The break 70. Mahiti needs snookers. That should be enough for Higgins to lead 2-1. And that was indeed enough for Higgins to take a 2-1 lead in this, the second semi-final. Atasit Mahiti, the local hero from the town of Saraburi, trying to reach the final of this world champion versus Asian stars challenge. The least known player in the field, one has to say, Mahiti, world number 86, the lowest ranked player also. lost only one frame in his qualifying group and made a fine start to this match winning the opener but he missed two chances to pop the black for a 2-0 lead and I just wonder whether he will come to regret that one Higgins then swooped in frame three A break of 70 doing the job. And so the Scots out in front, looking to increase that advantage. Higgins looks slightly more relaxed. And he's he weighing up his options here. Is he going to attack, play safe? Takes the safety route. Not a great I shot. That's one. I mean, the best you've got to do, at least in that situation, is get the keyboard tight on the cushion. Because Higgins really does punish you in the safety department. We're still for Mahiti. Shot to nothing here for Higgins. Left corner. Well, a smashing opening, this. Everything you can ah. wish for when trying to construct a break of size. The reds well fanned out. Blue, pink and black. All easily available. Be good to see him make a sizable break, win a frame in one visit. Something you need to start doing on a regular basis if you're going to mix it with the top players, especially in the ranking events. When they're at their best, so many times we see them come to the table, step in, knock in one red. Five minutes later, the frame's all over. If he wants to progress to the next level, he needs to start doing that. This man Higgins has done it and still does it many, many times. Well, just chronicling Mahiti's break building so far. 21. Had a run of 69 during his group win over Marco Fu. Also put together breaks of 52 and 54 22. in overcoming Stephen Hendry in the group. So he's capable.
วิธีได้เจอที่ thirty-seven. You know, he actually played for the red to right corner there, but just as he was walking around, he thought, "Well, the one above the pink looks slightly better. I'll take that one instead." Very, very quick when he gets going. Forty-four. I think he's got to be careful. He doesn't play too quick. He 45. doesn't have the natural talent of somebody like O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan, even though he's incredibly quick, he never looks rushed. I just get the tendency sometimes when I watch Mahiti that he's deliberately trying to 52. play fast. Fifty-three. He's down on the shot there before the referee had replaced the black. Sixty. Nevertheless, a very good effort, but he needs to keep the tempo consistent. Fifty-eight. Well, John Higgins might have thought he'd broken the back of Mahiti's challenge by winning two frames in succession, one on the black, the other with a 70 break. You better think again. 21 82 Watching this break it's hard to believe that since turning professional five years ago Mahiti has only made seven century breaks in professional competition This is going to sound quite cruel, but I, I really can believe that. Just too many mistakes creep in. It's like a lack of concentration. He's got the talent. There's no question about that, but he's got to hold it together for longer. Yes, yeah, century break number eight isn't forthcoming, but it's all square again at two frames each. First couple of frames were quite scrappy. The last two have been very entertaining. High quality stuff from both. Nothing to choose between them. Yes, Higgins decided to up the tempo. Mahiti followed in the previous frame. And I'm looking forward to some, some more attacking snooker from both players.
you know, talking about his break building again, Phil, seven centuries is not enough really, is it? Because you can work it all backwards. You're thinking, well, if he's only knocking in seven centuries, he's probably not knocking in that many 70s and 80s. He's not knocking in that many frame-winning breaks. Whereas compared with the top boys, you've got Hendry's what? knocked in over 630 centuries. Imagine how many 90s, 80s and 70s Hendry's had just winning the frame one visit. It makes a massive difference. I know a few years back when Mark Williams won the Welsh Open, one of the comments you were making regularly was the fact that his brake building was letting him down. But he, so he did rectify that in years to come, didn't he? He did indeed. Amazingly, his breakthrough Egg. win down there at the Newport Centre in Gwent, South Wales, in that Welsh Open in 1996, he played six matches, and his highest break throughout the event was only 76. Willie Thorne famously said that if he continued playing like that, he'd never win a tournament again. Williams now a much heavier scorer than he used to be. And one of the bedrocks on which John Higgins has based his success over the years has been the ability to win frames in single 14. visits. His century total, 298. So it's only a matter of time before he joins Stephen Hendry and Ronnie O'Sullivan as only the third player with over 300 tonnes. Well, there's no coincidence that they're the three or three of the most successful players in the game. 19. Well, a touch ambitious. All very well if it goes in. He's played it with a, an element of safety in mind. just checking the joint on his cue, <laughs> checking to see if he's straight. I'm, I'm sure it is. A little bit of a half-hearted effort there, wouldn't it? It's funny some of the mannerisms you adopt during a match, just to try and waste some of that nervous energy. Yes, yeah, so there's a group of players who habitually shake their heads, even when it seems the luck they've received isn't all that bad. I just can't get out of the habit. Another group of players who pace around. Then there's those who sit in their chair completely impassively regardless of the situation.
really couldn't do anything there. He's got to run the bulk end of the table, so he couldn't play the attacking safety shot. He's probably done just the right thing. Let Higgins try and force the issue, but you know that Higgins is so patient. In this situation, you would expect the, the lack of experience from Mahiti to show, but it'll be interesting to see. Higgins has offered him a tempter here, red to left corner. He's got to be careful though, eh? If he takes it on and misses it, so every chance he'll leave it red for Higgins. But also if he takes it on, that cue ball's going to be going very, very close to the centre pocket. No, he hasn't been tempted at all. But this one to corner, I think, is even riskier. Yes, the sighting tendency there, knowing full well the red has to go past the yellow, is to overcut the ball, and that's precisely what he did. He was very fortunate. How he never, never left Higgins a red on, I do not know. No, neither do I, but he might leave one on from this. Higgins has played a tremendous safety shot. Maximum trouble for Mahiti. Surely it's just got to be a containing safety, this. Can't imagine a path back to bulk. Certainly not one that doesn't involve a great amount of risk. Well, he tried his best to keep a lid on things, but he has left a red to the middle. Not easy by any means, but it is there. Risky though, isn't it? Certainly looking at it, Weighing up the pros and the cons. Higgins eventually found a way through and went on to take the fifth frame to lead 3-2. Now just two frames away from a place in the final. John Higgins is two frames away from a place in the final of the World Champions versus Asian Stars. He leads Atasit Mahiti by three frames to two. And the previous frame was all about tactical control. Show that again here. Perfectly judged shot. Couldn't attack, so Mahiti will just run off of the reds. Trying to get that cue ball in behind the bulk colour if he can. Just checking to see whether it's touching ball. Well, he seems to think it is. The referee doesn't. Not convinced, is he? Maybe. Maybe he's detected Maybe. something on the white. Touching ball. Well, he was right all along. And it did make a massive difference to the shot. It's so much easier now.
doesn't have to glance off of a red, it can just play away. Take two, another touching ball. And just too much pace once more. Yeah, he's starting wow. the queue so much better than he did at the start of this tournament. And maybe it's just the fact that he's had more table time, more practice. Slightly annoyed that he's finished in between here. He's decided to take the blue to centre. Using the pink to stop the white, and he's played that exceptionally well. Six. The pink's gone back into the pack, which makes it quite awkward. But at least he's on the red, and that was not guaranteed when he played the blue. So all in all, I think he'll take it. Fantastic career CV, John Higgins. Well, the world rankings began in 19. 76 he's one of only seven players to have been number one he won the world championship in 1998 he's won the masters down at wembley the games premier invitation event he's also been the uk champion he's won over 3.6 million pounds in total career prize money and he's not yet celebrated his 30th birthday. One. Seems to have finally taken control of this match. And the Heaty started off well, but let's not forget that missed black in the second frame when he should have taken a 2 0 lead. And since we that did. point, Higgins has gone from strength to strength. Yes, Mark, because there's that. no getting away from the fact that in that second frame, he looked decidedly shaky. You know, Mahiti didn't pot a single ball in the previous frame. And given the position of these reds, he might not pot one here. Thirty-seven. Well, it's a classic practice situation. Mahiti's supporters look on. Slightly concerned and rightly so. Higgins really shouldn't miss from here. 
43. It's not at all worried about 44. using the black in this break at the moment. The pink is uh, the easier ball. As ever, when you're making a break, just keep it nice and simple. 50. And you want to keep the cue ball as 51. close to the object ball as possible, ideally about a foot away. Makes the pot that much easier. It's no good if you've got to keep on playing superb recovery shots, because eventually you'll miss. And all of this began with that raking red to the bottom right hand pocket as we look at the table. He has deserved a pause for that one. When you're playing with the spider rest, anything can happen. Two is cut and dried now. Sizable break on here. 82. Possible 140. If he takes blacks with the remaining reds, they're certainly enjoying themselves. Well, it wasn't the cleanest of pots. 59. Highest break of the event 90. so far. A run of 102 by Mark Williams. That's clearly within John Higgins' sights here. 96. 97. That break of 102, in fact, came against Higgins in their group match. That's the 299th century break of John Higgins's career. 103. What a pity. 103. John Higgins one frame away from playing Marco Fu in the final. John Higgins to break. John Higgins in a very healthy position. Four to ahead of Atasit Mahiti in this semi final of the World Champions versus Asian Stars Challenge. Needing only one of the remaining three frames to prevail. <laughs> and how about that for a break off? Millimeter perfect. Well, immediately puts Mahiti on the back foot, doesn't it? No, <laughs> a puff of the cheeks there doesn't like it at all. And we know these 
that the Asian players they don't show any emotion whatsoever. Well, that's the first I've seen. He's starting to feel it out there. That's close to the pink. Ball. That will be going back. So I think The last thing Mahiti wanted to do there was glance off the pack. I think he's just about okay. But now Higgins giving nothing away. Making his less experienced opponent work really hard. Good looking shot. The only one danger is the, the shot to nothing to left corner for Higgins. Well, uh, worrying times for Mahiti because Higgins is fully zoned in. It appears that all he needs at the moment is half a chance. Snooker here. Could have been better. Well, it all depends whether he can get an edge to a red. If not, he's going to have to come off the side of cushion. Just glance the red. Is the red nearest that left corner pocket? You just play half ball and try and leave the, the cue ball in the jaws of the pocket. It might give him some form of safety, but to be honest with you, if not, he's in all sorts of trouble here. Once again, this is where luck can play such an important part. It appears to be going cushion first. Well, completely Ball. misjudged it. And the trouble is, playing at that pace, the Dark side wears can. off. Ball. And after a while, it actually reverses and goes the other way. So if you'd have put left hand side on the cube, well after a couple of feet it was started swinging out to the right. And the same problem all over again.
Paul and then we start Higgins four. Just a fraction short. I thought when the cue ball hit the second cushion, it was just about going to reach the red. That was the danger. Well, that was the one thing he did not want to happen. Ball. Overcompensated. You know, he sat back in his chair now and he's thinking to himself, that could well be my one. last shot of this year's event. In the earlier stages of this tournament. Mahiti wasn't getting punished that heavily. Over the last couple of frames, however, Higgins has really hey. started to turn it on. Nice. Well, Mahiti didn't pot a ball in frame five. He didn't pot one in frame Fourteen. six, and he's still to pot one here. And Higgins Fifteen. has a history of putting together these devastating point scoring runs. He actually holds the record for most unanswered points scored during a world ranking event match. Amazingly, that was 485 against Anthony Hamilton in the quarterfinals of the 2000 World Championship. He certainly isn't scared of winning. He's a player that gets stronger as the winning line approaches. With the, egg. the current points without reply, 215. And With counting. It's clear to see how his concentration has improved in this year's event. This is probably 44. performance of the tournament so far. A packed house here in Bangkok and they came to see Mahiti defeat another world it's champion. Cool. And I wonder, Phil, whether that just went against Mahiti this evening. You know, Hendry, years ago, when the crowd were never on his side, he used to love it.